As I mentioned earlier, we were uh, talking about the reason for doing a reflection attack. And I sort of mentioned that it was amplification. What is amplification? Amplification is trying to get a lot more bandwidth from a little bit of bandwidth. Uh, if we talked about reflection being an attack where you send some information out and get the wrong address, you can think of that another way as uh, playing a prank on your neighbor by ordering some pizzas and giving the wrong address. And suddenly a whole bunch of pizzas show up and they have to pay for them all and they have to handle all that traffic. So another analogy is the size of packages. So imagine if all of these attackers just put in a small, send a small letter and ask for or buy something pretty big and they make it uh, cash on delivery and it's a massive giant refrigerator. So now they just sent out a small letter and it said cash on delivery and this site now sends back a refrigerator size box that this server has to handle. That's going to fill up this bandwidth. Well, why is this, why does this happen? Well, it turns out that the nature of the domain name system has unequal information sizes. Your query, the request for that address is usually very small. And then the response typically is just a little bit larger, maybe only double the size. But there are certain record types you can ask for that are much larger. And this is where it gets a little more clever. So in this case, the attackers can say, give me the record for any. And if you use the any record type, it's sort of like asking for all the phone numbers on that page. So it's just one phone number, give me the full page. In that case, now you've just sent a little request asking for a phone number, but you said, give me all the phone numbers, and you said, but send it to my friend, or my enemy, actually. And now that site is going to send the full page of data to the other server and fill the data. There's another way that they can amplify the attack. They can also ask for DNSSEC. And we aren't talking about DNSSEC in this particular segment. That might be a discussion for a future segment. Just suffice it to say that if you add the DNSSEC onto it, it has a lot of, a lot of keys and signatures. And that can make it 10 times larger than a normal response. So there's multiple ways to trick a server into sending out larger responses. And that's the essence of amplification. A small query uses very little bandwidth for the attackers and a large response. Now there's a flaw with this system and this type of attack. And that is it relies on this server to respond with these large responses. And you need to have more of these servers to send more responses. So in the next diagram, in the next example, we're going to talk about a, a more clever way to utilize what we call open resolvers on the internet to amplify the attack even more and make it even more difficult to detect and prevent.